All right, we're back in the infield of Nashville Super Speedway right now. We just come down from talking to you up top side in the VIP tower, but uh, we got our monsterblog.com uh, tour van parked down here in the infield. I mean, Rich Schaefer told us we could park here. He said we'd be all right, so hopefully uh, they'll take care of our, uh, our van for us here. Otherwise, it's going to be a tough ride back to Champaign to St. Louis. But, hey, we're down on the racetrack right now. We're at basically the starting area of the monster truck track. And what they're going to do is they're going to start here in the infield, Nashville Super Speedway, and they're going to take off over this first set of cars right here. They're going to head down the track tur towards turn four. They're going to hook a turn around that SUV down there, a left-hand turn, come back around over that yellow set of cars, down along no man's land on the other side of our uh, parking spot here. Can't see it, but another two-car jump. They're going to launch off that, be on the brakes hard, sliding through the grass into the final turn right here around that van and they're going to come trucking right back through here heading for the final jump as you can see that is an extremely long run at this last set of cars right here we've got some big hitters in the horsepower department like we talked about earlier and that's going to make for some pretty fast speeds coming up to this ramp right here and with this field being what it is i don't see anybody backing off or anybody else it's going to be pretty intense now we'll walk over this way a little bit we'll check out this uh prison bus pyramid the monster truck challenge guys always looking for something creative couldn't settle for a regular bus. They had to go with an actual Tennessee Corrections Facility bus. It is outfitted on the inside with all kinds of armor and grating, stuff to keep prisoners in there. That bus is stouter than a regular bus. We know regular buses don't give very easy, so this one is definitely not going to give either. And Hey, check out this ramp over on this side. We thought they made them steep in St. Louis. Have you a look at this side right here. This is going to show no mercy for the monster trucks. In fact, the steep angle of this ramp, very reminiscent of the big stack we saw in Eldora, Ohio, about three or four weeks ago that Carl Van Horn put Mopar Magic into absolute orbit off of. NASA was calling us, there was so much air under that monster truck. So you know what, we've got Carl in Mopar Magic, we got Steve Sims in the Stone Crusher, we got both of Mike Hawkins' trucks, we got two of Team Scream's trucks here, one of which has Jim Kohler behind the wheel. I mean, we've got a field set to get big air in both racing and freestyle. It's going to be an interesting night out here. We'll be bringing you some awesome coverage through the night. We're, now we're going to head to the pits. We're going to get some driver interviews, talk to these guys what they think about this track. And we're going to see if we can't pin down Monster Truck Challenge General Manager Rich Schaefer and learn a little bit more about the developing situation with the Monster Truck Challenge. All right, we're hanging out with David Smith here, driver of King Crunch. David, we've got a pretty new look on the King Crunch machine. Been running that new Ford on there for a couple weeks, and how's that working out for you? Uh, so far, it's not too bad. I mean, you got to get used to the visibility. It's a, it's a lot different than the Chevrolet. Uh, they, they stand out a little squarer than what the Chevy does, so it's, uh, the approach to the ramp's a little different. How's the fan response been to that? You know, we some of the fans have been talking online. You know, the King Crunch trucks have, have run a whole, you know, plethora of different just bodies. Of, yeah, exactly, just about everything. But I think, you know, the new Ford nose looks pretty sharp on it. Now, what kind of brought that change about for you? Well, we wanted to run. There was a, the Monsters on Main Street show, which was right there, at the, you know, in Houston area. So uh, that's our back, you know, our backyard. And I wanted to be able to run that. And the only way you run that is with being a Ford. So uh, we lucked out, and we were able to get the, you know, get the Ford body for that. And, I mean, it's something where, I mean, anybody, you don't want to just blast a ton of money out there. And and then uh, the next week you switch it back and you never use it again. So my idea on it is I'm going to use it till I, you know, crush it to pieces. And then, you know, maybe we'll go back, maybe we won't. You know, it's, it's hard to say. I always, I, I love the look of the Chevy. I mean, I, I'm the same way. I, I like Chevy, but uh, Ford has been great. You know, they, they've uh, helped us out a bunch with this. So, you know, as long as we have the support, then we're going to run it. Absolutely. Now, getting back to tonight's event, how do you feel about the racetrack out there? Kind of throwing it back to the old USA Motorsports days with trucks both turning left. You feel that thing that makes things a little more fair for the drivers each getting to make left-hand turns instead of lefts and rights? Yeah, I mean, I, th I do. I mean, it, it's just a little opposite of a conventional St. Louis style that we're used to running. I like turning either way myself. I mean, some guys like turning more right than they do left, and others are, are just the opposite. It really does. I mean, I'm sort of comfortable both ways, and it's sort of weird. I always used to, back in the day, I mean, say back in the day, but I mean, years ago, I used to be more comfortable turning to the left. Left. but um, it, it really doesn't matter much anymore you know I mean it's the tracks have gotten uh, faster and faster as we the trucks have gotten more powerful so um, yeah I believe it does even out the field a little bit I mean it's a long run to the finish line uh, over a double set so uh, or after the double set you, you know you make the turn you got a long run to the finish line so it's gonna allow the Hemis and stuff like that to open up but hopefully uh, you know one of these Chevys or Fords will walk away with it this time all right now in freestyle tonight we got some big stacks out there they're telling us they're gonna drag some other stuff out there too got anything up your sleeve for us you know 
airman Carl Van Horn's hanging out over there. He was telling us he's got some big stuff planned. So what does the King Crunch machine maybe have in store tonight? I mean, all I got to do is just I'll wait till Carl goes out there and runs and see what he breaks, and then I know how hard I got to run. You know, I mean, it's, it's, every, everybody here, the, the deal is, I mean, it's a stack field. I mean, you, you get good trucks out, and everybody's going to do phenomenal freestyle. I always try to, you know, I want to do something a little bit different, but um, I never really know until I get out there once I see what the other guys are doing that run before me. And you can't control what the guys are going to do that, you know, that run after you. So you just got to do the best job you feel you can and, and just go from there. All right, now, as a former crew guy myself, i got to throw a shout-out to all the crew guys out there. I hear some wrenches turning back there. We hear you got a pretty new crew guy on the team. Uh, you know, he's been around the monster trucks for a long time, Jake Smallwood. He, he came on with us for the summer, and hopefully we can keep him through the first quarter, you know, and make this a long-term relationship. And he's been working out great, man. He works his tail off at the shop and, and uh, keeps our stuff going. So he helps Darren out a lot. I mean, I, I don't drive a lot. Most of the time I fly into the races now, and just because I have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on at the shop that we want to keep going. And, uh, you know, with him being there to help, J uh, to help Darren out, you know, it makes it a lot easier on me. I don't have to worry about Darren going down the road by himself. Well, as you can tell from David Smith's story here, not only are monster trucks an entertaining race vehicle, they're an outstanding marketing capability with the body switching, and hey, he's a businessman too. He's flying in and out. No. So that's all from the King Crunch pits right here. We're going to visit some of the other drivers, see what they got planned too. We're going to let him get back to the pit party. All right, we're standing next to Mopar Magic here. We got Carl Van Horn, driver. Man, you had a blistering run in Eldora a couple weeks ago. I was there. Man, I was up in that tower. You were eye level with me when you launched off that pyramid, man. man so you got anything crazy like that up your sleeve tonight, you think? Anything can happen, that's for sure. This Mopar Magic truck is an awesome truck. I love racing it and freestyling. As you can see, it took the jump. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we had minor damage. Uh, been a front four link bar. Yep. That was about it. But we got a big setup in front of that bus. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, we could get big air off of that. And hopefully, I can ride some wheelies down through here and see what we can do. There you go, that'll work. Now you also did outstanding in racing Eldora and you know you've had only a few appearances on the Monster Truck Challenge Tour this year, probably not as many as you'd like even, but so with this kind of being the finale event for this year, are you looking to go out pretty big and do really strong in racing and freestyle again? That's what I hope to do, you know, every course is, is different. That's what I like about the uh, Monster Truck Challenge, you know, and, and this will be a different course. We'll see how this truck works on this one, but so far, you know, it's been great and uh, I think we can do really well. All right, now some of the drivers have expressed concern about that bus pyramid being t stacked pretty tight close to that one lane of the uh, the racing right there, the red cars. You feel that's going to make a pretty big difference when you're barreling down through there, or is it one of those deals if, you, if you're real out of shape, just throw it away and save the truck? Yeah, I don't really worry about it. I just go all out, whatever happens, happens. There you go. Well, that's, that's Carl Van Horn with Mopar Magic. We're going to let him get to the pit party now, wish him luck tonight, and we'll be bringing you all the action from his freestyle and racing later tonight.